When it comes to foregrounds and backgrounds, there are a few things you need to keep in mind. This is especially true if you've never worked in Toon Boom products and say your background is animating in Flash. So for a few moments, I'm gonna speak specifically as an animator who used to use Flash. So when you look at the main area here, this large rectangle, uh, if you're coming from a Flash background, you think of this and this would be referred to as the stage. Now, I made the mistake for the longest time after moving to Toon Boom and thinking of this again as the stage. So I would try to confine all of my backgrounds, pretty much my entire scene in this one small area. Well, in Toon Boom, this is not a stage. This rectangle is the camera. And when you think about your foreground and background, you have to think about it in that way. So I'm gonna zoom out here and the foreground and background images, I have them much larger than this area here. And I also have them on two different layers. I have the background and then I have the bar. So I'm gonna zoom back in. So what I wanna show you next is I'm gonna to go to the top view and that's basically looking down on this particular scene. And I'm simply gonna come over here to my setup and click top. If you do not see this, go to Windows, come down and select top. So what the top view is, um, imagine if each one of these layers were set up on its side and we're looking right down on it. So that's what this line is. So I can select the background and you can kind of see this little pink highlight right here. It lets us know that we've selected that. I can also select the bar and that also lets me know that I've selected it. Now, one of the cool things about working with your foreground and background is the fact that you do have the camera. And when you work on these in tandem, you can get some really cool effects. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the bar separate from the background in Z space or on the Z axis. So what I'm going to do is use my advanced animation toolbar. And if you do not see these, these are right here at the top. If you do not see these, simply go to Windows, Toolbars, and select Advanced Animation. Now, if I select the Translate tool over here on the top, I can move our bar forward or backward. So if you notice, if I move it forward, it's getting much larger. And if I push it behind, where this line is by default, the bar disappears. Okay, I'm going to undo that, Command Z. And if I come over here and select the background, I can push that further back. And if you notice again, it's changing size because we're pushing it further back in space. Let's undo that, Command Z. Now what I'm gonna do is show you the trick that I use most often whether I'm creating the background and foreground or if I've actually commissioned that out, I will tell the artist to make sure you just draw everything exactly the size you'd like it to be. So even though this is all set up in perspective, these are all the exact same size and on the Z axis, they're set up at the exact same plane. What I'm gonna do is come over and select this one particular tool called Maintain Size. Now select the background, and if I push this back, I'm pushing this back in the Z space, but you don't see any changes in the camera view, which is what we want. Then I'll select the bar, and making sure I still have maintain size selected, and I'll pull this forward a bit. Last but not least, to show you what's happening, we'll add a camera, And we want to give the camera a peg so we can move it. So I'm going to simply click on Add Peg. Now I will select the Translate tool. 
And as I move the camera left and right, if you notice, everything is moving in this really beautiful multiplane. So when you think about creating your backgrounds, make sure you're going to make them larger than what you need. And don't think of it just as a small rectangle. Make them much larger and that way you can play around more with your camera and using the Z-axis. Hey, this is Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I wanted to reach out to you and let you know we have a webinar coming up on Wednesday, September 10th at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we're going to be showing a lot of other tricks and things you can do in Toon Boom Animate 3. And this is to celebrate the new release we're going to be doing, uh, character animation in Toon Boom Animate. So we're going to be covering a lot of different things during the webinar, and there's a lot more covered in the new DVD title. Hope to see you there. Have a good one.